Hello student, we have already started the discussion about plant water relation and we cover lot of this uh, portion that is plant water relation and today we are going to continue this uh, topic uh, related to osmosis, diffusion and uh, another factor we are going to discuss in today's lecture. Now as we know that plant required water and this water get uh, absorbed by the root hairs of the plant and then it will uh, given to the different organs of the plant. So there is a different mechanism for the absorption then the uh, uh, push that particular water, send this water to the different level. There is a different mechanism which acts and that studied under this plant water relation. Now we have gone through this slide uh, in the last lecture that is uh, we have taken solvent in one container and in this container there will be a uh, addition of solute so we can add these solutes in a uh, solvent so that the solvent becomes solution now this is nothing but the solution now we can got that concept what is solute solution and solvent in the last lecture now we also have seen this particular um, experiment in which we have seen that the water molecule move from the higher concentration to lower concentration uh, by the process of osmosis. So we have studied this concept in last uh, lecture. Now we are going to move for the uh, next that is plasmolysis. Now what is plasmolysis? Plasmolysis is defined as the process of shrinkage or contraction of protoplasm of plant cell and is caused due to the loss of water in the cell. Plasmolysis is the example of or result of osmosis rarely uh, occur in nature. Now sometimes we, we have seen that the plant stem or leaves uh, starts to shrink. Now why this shrinkage will occur? This shrinkage will occur due to the plasmolysis. Sometimes uh, cells uh, shrinks uh, leaving the water and that process we call it as a plasmolysis but this process is not a common process it will rarely occur in the nature and the protoplast of that particular cell will starts to shrink and uh, it will uh, remove the excess of water or we can say uh, due to some uh, mechanism it will remove the water which is present inside to the cell and the cell will become plasmolyzed cell म्हणजे <coughs> and inside to this you can see this is nothing but the cytoplasm so cell wall cell membrane and cytoplasm is there so this is nothing but the normal cytoplasm which is having a different organelles uh, mitochondria cell plant cell either chloroplast cell vacuole cell you can also see the uh, ribosomes um, and the other organelles are also there quality bodies are there chloroplast is there so different organelles are also present in this particular cytoplasm so this is nothing but the normal uh, cell we can say having the cytoplasm and cell wall yes i will anki we will say attach the cell so this is the single cell having the cytoplasm now what happens again this is nothing but the cytoplasm now what happens during the plasmolysis the cytoplasm starts to shrink now here you can see this cytoplasm is there and it is started to shrink so it will become a shrink and shrink and later on this cell is known as plasmolyzed cell yeah cell happen plasmolyzed cell on the other hand you can see this is nothing but the cell with the cytoplasm which is having the attachment so here you can see this is nothing but the attachment of the cytoplasm to the cell wall or cell membrane here the cytoplasm totally get displaced or we can say it, uh, it is it don't have any connection with the cell membrane or cell wall so this is nothing but the plasmolysis 
and these are the two types of plasmolysis or plasmolysed cell apan jasa mhanla ki plasmolysis hota plasmolysis he don prakare hota mo so you can see the plasmolysis is of two types the one is known as the uh, concave and another is known as convex so in a concave you can see in a concave you can see the cell uh, or the that particular cytoplasm will uh, don't have any connection with the cell membrane or cell wall on the other hand you can see here it is having the attachment of the cytoplasm to the cell membrane and cell wall so these are the two types of plasmolysis which occur in a normal cell or which normally observed in a cell now the another method we are going to discuss in today's lecture that is imbibation or imbibition so what is imbibition imbibition is the process or it is the special type of diffusion that takes place when liquid is absorbed by solid collides causing an increase in volume sada sangaycha tar suppose ekadi resin apan kiwa asa manu ki seed seed panyamade takla apan आणि रात्रभर त्याला भिजू दिलं आणि दुसऱ्या दिवशी जेव्हा आपण त्याला बघितलं तर त्याची साईज जी आहे त्या सीडची ही थोडी वाढलेली आपल्याला दिसेल इट विल बिकम अ फ्लॅसिक ऑर वी कॅन से इट विल बिकम अ समवॉट बल्की नाव वॉट इट इज ड्यू टू इट इज ड्यू टू दिस इम्बिबिशन प्रोसेस दॅट मीन्स सेल स्टार्ट्स टू ॲप्सॉप वॉटर अँड ड्यू टू द ॲप्सॉप्शन ऑफ वॉटर दॅट सेल विल बिकम अ रेडी टू जर्मिनेशन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द इम्बिबिशन what imbibition is a special type of diffusion that takes place when liquid is absorbed by solid ek changla udaharan dyaycha tar manje natural yacha matla aplya observation madhe je asta nevi apan aplya kade samjha brick asel wheat wheat jar panyat takli tar kay karel it will absorb the water so the same thing will happen in the plants also uh, plant seed also we can say it will absorb the water and it is nothing but a type of diffusion karan water concentration bahar cha side la jast hai ani at madhya side la water concentration kami hai say for example seeds apan getle dane apan getle kai ani te panyamade takle or you can take a resin manje apla manuka gyaycha panyamade takay tar ata panyacha concentration he tya seed cha bahar kiwa tya resin cha bahar jast hai आणि आतमधलं वॉटर कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन कमी आहे तर ऍप्सॉबली काय ऑब्विसली तिथे काय होणार आहे इट विल टेक्स प्लेस अ पर्टिक्युलर टाईप ऑफ मुवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर अँड ड्यू टू दॅट पर्टिक्युलर टाईप ऑफ मुवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर द वॉल्युम ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर वॉटर इन्क्रीज अँड कॉझिंग इन्क्रीज इन वॉल्युम सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द इम्बिबिशन अँड दिस इम्बिबिशन इज हॅव्हिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन अ सीड जर्मिनेशन so when we talk about the plants or imbibition in plant imbibition cause swelling of seed and results in breaking of the testa manje seed germination je hota ta seed germination madhe ya uh, imbibition navacha process cha mahatvacha role asto imbibition is initial step in seed germination so it is the most crucial step the water moves into uh, ovules which are ripening into seed by the imbibition then imbibition do, uh, is a dominant in the initial stage of water absorption by roots so when the roots are new or when the roots are very young there you can see this process will takes place and due to this process what happens the plant starts to germinate seed and grow very fast by absorbing the water so in uh, today's lecture we have seen two concept the first concept is plasmolysis through plasmolysis what happens excess water is removed or we can say normally the water is removed from the cell and the second we have seen the imbibition in which the uh, roots or seed or cell absorb the water and it will become uh, available to that particular plant so that the plant seed will germinate and germination process will takes place so watch this video two times to understand the concept of imbibition and plasmolysis thank you